Welcome back, Cambridge Heights. This is newscast number three, and we are already seven weeks into this school year. We'll start this episode with another segment of Bench Hunt. Happy Friday once again, Cambridge Heights. We betcha that you won't expect what you're bringing you this week. This week we have an unexpected talent from Mrs. Scalise. Mrs. Scalise says that she can name all 50 states in alphabetical order. Hi, Mrs. Scalise. Let's see if the rumors are true. I bet you you can't name all 50 states in alph alphabetical order. Okay. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut. Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. Wow, who knew our art teacher had a geography degree? That's pretty impressive. I don't even think I can do that. Let's see how some students can do. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Connecticut, Colorado. Alabama, Arizona, Alaska, Kansas. Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas, Arizona, California, Connecticut. Here we have George Nemec Jr. Can you name all 50 states in alphabetical order? No. <laughs> Catch you next time in the next segment of Betcha. I bet you could name all those states. I bet I could. <laughs> anyway, we're handed off to Marky in Brooklyn where they were talking about the Patriots pen essay. Brooklyn, did you turn in your Patriots pen essay? Yes, it made me really think about the men and women who serve our country to make us safe. Yes, I agree. Did you hear about all the money you can win? Yeah, if you win first place in nationals, you can win $5,000. And locally, you can still win hundreds of dollars from your VFW. Yes, Mr. Seymour, a Patriots pen local chairperson, came in and visited our 6th, 7th, and 8th graders to talk about how to enter. Yes, papers were turned in a couple of weeks ago. Good, Good luck, luck to all the students. students. Thanks, guys. Next, we're handing it off to Lily and Grace. They'll be talking about our school's favorite movie genres. Hello, Cambria Heights Middle School. Welcome back to this week's survey. For this week, we will be doing favorite genre. Now, on to the teacher results. For the teachers, the winner is comedy. For the students, the winner is horror. Grace, what's your favorite genre? I like thriller. What about you? I like fiction. That's all for this week's survey. See you next time. Wow, horror movies are really popular in our school. What'd you vote for, Reagan? I voted for comedy. I love me some Adam Sandler. <laughs> What'd you vote for? I voted for romance. Now we have Bryson Mitchell back with the sports cast. Welcome back to the CHMS Sportscast. This is Bryce and I am Mitch. This week's segment will be all about girls volleyball. Number three on the top plays. Emma Lewis hits the ball over the net where the defense is not for the Cambria Heights point. <laughs> Number two on the top plays. The ball is hit way out of bounds and Heidi Klein saves it and hits it over the net for the Cambria Heights point. <laughs> and number one on the top plays. Reagan Conrad Spikes the ball over the net for the Highlanders point. With so many highlights from girls volleyball, it was tough to just pick three. Great job, girls. And now on to you, Levi Klein. What's up, guys? It's Levi Klein back again. Today I'm going to analyze the junior high girls volleyball teams. One team is 0-9 and one team is 4-5. and Both teams have fought hard this season and are getting better every week. Their next games are against Penn's Manor. I predict both teams will do very well. That's all. Back to Bryce and Mitch. Thanks, Levi. Thanks for tuning in for this week's sportscast. See you next time. Those are some great plays. 
I can't believe volleyball season's almost over already. Here's Emma and Caitlin with class class spotlight. Welcome back to Classroom Spotlight, Cambria Heights. For this week's segment, we included a teacher feature. As many of you may know, our old girls phys ed teacher, Miss Conklin, has retired. As a result, we welcome a new teacher to the Cambria Heights Middle School staff, Miss Harbaugh. We interviewed her for this week's segment. The first question we have for her is what school did you graduate from? I am a Cambria Heights Highlander and I graduated from uh, college at Slippery Rock University. The next question we have for you is, why did you get into health and physical education? When I was in high school, I was always active. I played volleyball and I did track. Um, and I was always an assistant to our high school uh, PE teacher, which was Mrs. Bradley. And she helped steer me in the direction of becoming a health and physical education teacher. Ms. Farbaugh. How many years have you been teaching? What schools have you taught at? I've worked at three different schools. I started out at Northern Cambria Catholic School in Nicktown, where I was a health and physical, physical education teacher, and I also taught technology there. And then I've been at Cottonwood Valley for the past three years, where I was the elementary health and physical education teacher, and now I'm back here at Cambria Heights, where I went to high school, and I'm ready to have a new year teaching health and visit. And for the finale question, how do you like working with Mr. Klein? It's actually pr quite interesting to start working with Mr. Klein. He actually was my 8th uh, grade PE teacher and now I'm his colleague. And uh, everything's been working out really well. He's been showing me the ropes, keeping me in line, and what can I say? We're now Cambria Heights Middle School's new dream team. Thanks, Ms. Marbaugh. Stay tuned for next week's Classroom Spotlight. Thanks for interviewing with CHMS TV. Uh, now we have Max and Mason back at it again with Guess Who? Highlanders, this is Mason Klein, Max Lundlager. Today we're going to be playing our game, Guess Who? We will give you 10 seconds to guess. Here's the first teacher. If you guess Miss Kenny, you are correct. Here's another 10 seconds to guess the next teacher. segment guess who on to the next segment see, see you next, next time. time thanks Max and Mason lastly we have a crowd favorite segment dance move of the week hey CH you already know what segment it is it's a dance move of the week okay Mrs. Fetzko let's see who came up with this time take it away hey Cameron Heights Middle School I am always reminded of how old I am, and today, a commercial from my youth, the Berries and Cream Starburst commercial, has been highly requested as the dance move of the week. And if there's anybody who's good at the Berries and Cream dance from the commercial, it is a millennial, like myself. So, hit it, DJ. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Oh, I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. And that's a wrap for newscast number three. Be sure to tune in next newscast for our Halloween special. Catch, Catch you next time. time.